today we are going to talk more about skinning inside Unreal Engine. This is a bit of a follow up from my Skeletal Mesh inside Unreal video and I'm going to show you what sort of options we have when we are skinning and doing weights for skinning inside the engine. First part, I'm going inside our skeletal asset. So this is what uh, we have set it up last time by creating the whole structure for uh, our spider. And at the moment, if you can see if I can select one of the joints and move it, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to move the mesh. This is because we don't have any sort of uh, skinning applied right now. If we go into the tools where we can edit the skeleton and also on the side we have skinning, deformation, model, mesh and so on. By going into skinning and just bind skinning, you can see that there is at the moment no effect. If it's completely blue, this means that there is no uh, effect on our mesh. If I go to skeleton, edit skeleton and select one of the bones, then we go back to skinning and bind skinning. You're going to see that now there is a bit of red, yellow and green. This means that this bone is starting to already have an effect on part of the geometry and also there is a little bit of blending here at the very end. If we go into edit weights, you will notice that there is already a weight applied because if we didn't accept the bind skinning initially, uh, there's going to be absolutely nothing here. And by having the weights, if I go back to uh, our skeleton and now move it around, you can see that now it's starting to take effect. So the way that it works is we first bind a bone into a part of the mesh and then we go and edit our weights. When we go into edit weights, you can see here that we have add. So this is going to add into the weight. We have replace, which means that if, for example, the next bone has a bit of weight over here, this bone is going to replace it and it's going to remove the weight from the other bone. And we also have a relax. This is good for smoothing out our transition. So again, into such joints, if we do, for example, let me go to add and then I'm going to remove this part. The way that you can remove when you're on add is by holding control. And then if you paint, it's going to remove. So if I paint out this bit over here, like very harsh transition, now, what we can do is to soften out this bit. We can go into relax and then paint over here. And you can see that it's continuing to smooth out and just do like a nice gradient of our bone weight. Another way of editing our weights is going to be by selecting geometry. So this is usually useful for either very small uh, elements or if you want like a very specific influence on a region or, or an area of the mesh. So for example, like such small pieces, usually with the brush, it might be a little bit of a struggle or uh, sometimes like if you're doing hard surface assets, like for example, uh, chests, drawers or other things that uh, you would like to uh, do some skinning and animations on them, then painting weights with the brush is going to be a bit of a struggle. So instead of here using the brush, we can go into mesh, which is going to activate, you can see here uh, already the vertices of our mesh. And then we can simply do a selection. We can, of course, have similar sort of control, like for example, in 3ds Max or Maya, where we can do a selection and then here we can grow that selection or shrink it, which is very useful when, for example, if I want to select just the corner here and then grow my selection further. And then on the menu on the bottom, we can control more precise exactly how much we want certain bones to have influence and what sort of influence we want them to have and control our weights. So for example, I want everything that's here and let's say we grow the selection all the way here to the joint. All of that, you can see that joint one has almost one, so almost full influence, but I would like to have like a full influence. So that's going to be one. You can see that uh, it changed some of the others. This is because there was a little bit of blending over here. But now this whole piece here is going to be fully influenced just by this single bone. We can change the selection in here from vertices to edges or even to polygons, whichever it's easier for us to work with. I usually like to work on vertices. Another functionality which is very useful, especially for hard surface models, is going to be 
our flood. So I'm going to show you, if we select one of the bones and then go into edit weights, you can see that I already did the weights for this one, so it's completely affecting this bone, just the bottom piece. But if we go to mesh and then I select just piece of that element and then press flood, it's going to select the whole element. So this is very useful if you have hard surface models where we can do a selection, then flood is going to select absolutely everything. And then here we can see that this bone is affecting fully. So I can put it on zero if I don't want, or if I want, I can again make it fully affecting my mesh. If you want to learn more about game development, subscribe and follow my channel. See you next time.